Good morning, resellers. We have quite a few items going out here on Monday morning. Um, got a big pile here. I also have a few items down at my flea market stand that sold that we're going to have to go pick up and ship those out. But um, here's the bulk of it. We also sold Life Pro Massager for, I believe, $60. But yeah, I'm not going to throw that on the table. It's a big box. But first item is a brand new DVD player LG in the box. Still sealed. I could ship it out right like that. Bought it for five dollars the other week at yard sale. Sold that for twenty eight dollars plus five shipping. So should cost ten bucks to ship. So should make some good money on that. Next we have a keepsake Harley Davidson ornament. Got that for a dollar at the other yard sale. Wasn't sure if it would sit till Christmas, but it didn't. Sold for nine dollars plus shipping. Nice little nine X or minus fee. So probably more like eight X. Then we have a um, Nerf Elite um, Ammunition Holder Magazine. Um, I think that's sold for $7.99 plus shipping, and we got it for like a buck. We got a CB radio. We sold this one cheap. What happened was I got three CB radios on Marketplace for $20. They popped up on Sunday night. I messaged him. 20 people after that messaged him, but luckily I was the first one to message him. I sold one that came with the mic antenna for 70 so I was already in the profit after getting all three for 20 and I sold the next one, uh, $40 or $35 free shipping, I believe. This one was a little, um, I needed some work. It still works, but it's um, dirty. We didn't feel like going to trouble cleaning, so we put it out for like $23 free ship. We'll get like another 10 bucks back, but we already well made our money on that stuff. Then we got a Vix humidifier. Um, it only goes for $20 free shipping, but I think we only paid $1 or $2 for it. So, therefore, we we just scooped it up. Um, it'll probably cost 12 to ship. It'll probably make 5 bucks off of it, and it didn't sit very long at all. This guy, I think he went for 5 plus 5 shipping um, action figure. Uh, we got all our money back on those and some. So, whatever it was, it was pure profit. I'm not sure how much. This girl... She sold for $1.50 plus shipping. We probably paid a quarter or less for her. Thomas Train. This one only sold for um, $8 free shipping. So it only sold for 3 bucks plus shipping. Um, but we only paid between $0.25 cents and $2 for all the Thomas Trains. And we're well in profit, so profit on Thomas Trains anyway. That one was sitting for a while. So I reduced it. Got a Nimmo Gnome out of a sports collection. I hadn't made a video about that, but... um. I had bought a bunch of, I spent 158 at one yard sale, and I already have now 110 back off of it and probably 1,000 in inventory, but I got 10 Nemo Gnomes for $3 a piece, and this was the first one that sold $21.99 free shipping, so probably make about $13 profit off of that, so only need to sell two more to already be into like $10 profit on the Nemo Gnomes, and then the other seven will be free. Out of those DVDs last week, I told you we sold a bunch already, and we already had 70 back on the 20 we spent. We sold we um, sold the Halloween collection, Halloween 1, 2, and 3 together. These didn't pay, make much, but they didn't need to either. Clerks Uncensored sold. CS Miami 8th Season sealed. And then 6 Larry the Cable Guy CDs. If they're not worth much, and I don't think they're going to sell at the flea market, I, I try to bulk stuff like that together. They're all Larry the Cable Guy stuff. So I did $12 free shipping, so we'll probably get like 5 bucks off of them. But again, we bought 150 DVDs for $20, so that works. This hat's a local company, and it was mixed in with a bunch of Napa hats that I bought. So I wanted the hats, and any local company I guess thrown in, I just put out for like three dollars plus shipping that sold but again we um got our hat money back the first day on that batch but even we don't hats like this i pay 50 cents a quarter let them sit for three dollars as long as they need to sit and then make some profit we got this hallmark i forget what we paid for this it couldn't have been more than three dollars i wouldn't have paid more than three for it but um it's yankee candle ants carrying a watermelon that sold for uh 12.99 plus shipping so that was a Pretty good profit. It sat for a while, but not too bad. Then we got a $2 glove. I think it sold seven Ball Hawk Wilson. I think it sold $17.99 plus shipping, but we paid $2 at yard sale for that. So that was good profit. Here's an item. Um, some Radio Shack Electronic. Um, 
I sold for a friend. Um, it's gone to California. It didn't sell for much, so it'll probably only make like $2 a piece, but it's gone. And then the best of the best, um, I already have mentioned in another video. We got this for $70 Friday. Cool Picks SO1 Nikon. Um, it's a very rare, smaller Nikon um, point to click camera. And that we bought for 70 on Friday, and Friday night it sold for 190 So that was a nice quick flip that covered everything we spent on yard sale that day. And some. And another great one. The Fitbit wireless activity tractor. They usually go for about $50. But this is special. This was Hershey's chocolate Fitbit. So never seen one of those before. Put it out a little higher. We took an offer for $58. We paid 5 bucks or less at the reuse it shop. And then this thing we bought for $1.25, I believe it was, at the reuse it shop. Um, uh, pedometer with a brain. Go smart. Um, Omron. Uh, we yeah we paid dollar twenty five for that and that sold for thirty dollars plus shipping. And last but not least, another golf club out of that batch. We sold those golf clubs, um, most of them for two hundred dollars. Then we got the whole bag for five dollars, as you saw in the other yard sale video. But then we sold another Callaway for thirty free shipping. Still have a couple more um, uh, clubs off, off of that deal for icing on the cake. But yep, there's the whole pile again and. Hope everybody has a great week, and I'll try to get another yard sale video out this coming weekend. Have a great day.